If you enjoy watching Common Ground online, please consider making a tax-deductible donation at lptv.org. Lakeland Public Television presents Common Ground, brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota. I'm Kate Carlson and I am in the Crossing Arts Alliance Gallery in Brainerd, Minnesota and we are featuring our Celebrate the Young at Art Children's Art Show, our annual show that we have. This is our 10th annual show that we hold each April. We accept artwork from all Brainerd area schools from kindergarten through high school and we like a variety of media, original artwork that the teachers select and each school is invited to choose 10 pieces of artwork and contribute to the show. We have different students every year and so every when they come to our little reception here they're always it's probably the first time they've come here because every year there are different students of course that are chosen to have their artwork displayed. Well the Crossing Arts Alliance that we have we want to make everyone aware of the arts available in our community is kind of an umbrella organization that we um, feature we have newsletters that show all of the different opportunities and I'm actually the coordinator of the youth program which we call Flipside and we like to showcase the artwork of children in many of the schools their their art their artwork the the arts have been cut in some ways because of budget so we our organization the Crossing Arts Alliance likes to give as many opportunities as we can for children to do their art and to show their art well, when we started the Flipside program, one of our areas was the art displays for children and available places to display children's artwork. That was just one of the one of the venues we pursued, and so that's why we started doing art shows. We've had them in different locations, and now we are in this building, so it's a nice gallery setting that we enjoy. Do you notice there's ten gold stars on the? 10 different pieces of artwork and those have been selected by our committee to be uh, matted and framed and then we hang them in the YMCA uh, for one year and then the child at the end of the year they get to take them home and we have a little plaque with their name and grade level on them so it's quite an honor for them to ha have a display in a very public place. Well. That is my artwork. It's a Zentangle butterfly. It's supposed to have uh, cooler colors in the background and warmer colors on the butterfly, kind of. And it was where we were supposed to draw an animal, and then we had to put like designs and patterns into it. I've really enjoyed art. It's it's fun to me. It makes me pretty happy that my artwork was selected to be shown in public. I mean, I didn't, I didn't know it was really that good. I'm Lisa Jordan, the Artistic and Executive Director of the Crossing Arts Alliance in Brainerd. And we are here celebrating the Young at Art. This is our 10th year of putting on this exhibit. It's an exhibit of artwork from local school children and it is probably our most colorful show and certainly one of our most anticipated. We at The Crossing have an amazing group of volunteers. Many of the people who work on this particular exhibit and who love to work on this exhibit are retired educators themselves. So we have a whole committee with our nonprofit who gets together to hang the artwork, they communicate with the teachers, they make the wonderful hors d'oeuvres for our kids who come to the exhibit, and they're here tonight, most of them. The Crossing Arts Alliance works to bring all sorts of arts to the Brainerd Lakes area. That's our mission, to make arts accessible to our community and to make our community stronger through the arts. We do programming at the Crow Wing County Jail. We have children's programming, arts exhibits, concerts. Um, we run the full gamut. 
I think we get excited because this gives kids a chance to experience having their art in a formal gallery setting. And we put on a, a formal opening, which is a lot of fun. The kids get to come and show their work to their parents and their grandparents and really feel special about their involvement in the arts. We have quite a, a variety. We have mixed media, we have pencil drawings and painting, wonderful black and white self-portraits, and we have some torn paper pieces, some paintings, and some pixelation. It's really a nice mix. The art teachers who've worked with these children have really explored a number of different media. So that's really fun and interesting for us too. The selection process is left up to the teachers actually. So the, the teachers go through and I'm sure it's a very difficult job to choose just a few select pieces from their classes. But they bring us something that fits the theme that they're hoping to explore or uh, work that really speaks to them. For me, this is the next generation of arts, artists and arts enthusiasts and art supporters. So for them to be able to come in and share what they've done, what they're excited about, is just a tremendous introduction into the world of art. And you know, I think we're really lucky to be able to do this for our kids in our community. I think it, it gives us a moment to stop our busy lives and, and really come in and celebrate um, what kids do best and that's just they work in an, an explosion of color and form and it, it's just really nice to be able to to celebrate what they do. Well, I think art has many benefits, um, you know, for them cognitively, developmentally, and it's a way to, to really communicate and bond with other people without, sometimes when we're younger we don't have the right words to convey our feelings, and through art they can often do that. So I, I think it's, it's tremendously helpful for, for kids of all ages. Uh, I'm Judd Clang, and this one's my art piece, and it's about a bird, and we, we researched about this, this um, artist that does dots when he paints, and so my teacher made us do dots on when we, on when we painted. And so I used marker when I did mine, and I just did multiple colors on my wings. Okay, my name's Alexia Mullen, and this is my Mona Lisa I drew in um, Pod B, Force View. Um, we just made it for artwork, and she chose mine because it was unique and it looked like water going down the side of the Mona Lisa right down there. It's like a warm or cool. I chose to do cool because it's like a little bit of dark colors, and then I did the um, light colors for the Melissa hair. I've been interested in art for a while. while. The first time I did it was when I just started just drawing randomly on a piece of paper and then I just seen like a cool design so I just started doing that and that's what sparked my interest. I'll keep doing art after this because it's really fun to do. It seems to me, I'm a retired art teacher, so I know that in the past I've taught art for, for many years, and I know students come back to me and say one little lesson you know, impressed them, and it made them go on and want to do more artwork as either a career or hobbies. It's, a, it's just giving them the um, materials, good materials and inspiration to pursue their art, whether or not it's for a career. Well, I think of the students when they come into a gallery setting like this, it's, it's, their self-esteem has to be increased because they see their work of art among all the other works that are exceptional with talent and skill. So I think, and they bring their families, it's very rewarding to see them come in and bring their families, they're dressed up and proud of their work. And we have them all displayed in different, different places, so they, they have to walk around and look for their artwork, so that makes them enjoy everyone else's work as well. I hope that all of the children who come here who are exhibiting, or even those that just come to see the exhibit, really start to feel that art has a place 
and that it is important and it isn't just something you do on the side for fun, that it really can be a part of your daily life. Uh, that's how we feel about art and, and it would be gratifying for us to feel that we're instilling that into the next generation. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org.